Hey everybody, everybody has been asking us to show them our Halloween display, so here we are. Come on, Chris. Hi. Oh, okay, let's do this. Let's show everybody these new chunkies that you made yeah. on a crazy, crazy day okay. for Halloween. They're really fun. Okay, so right here, I'll do a close-up of those. This is kind of impromptu, so have to kind of bear with us. What's fun about these chunky ATCs, yeah. which I have to admit, yeah. were inspired by Audrey. Now wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Why do you have to admit it or hate to admit it? I didn't say hate, I said have. Oh, why do you have to though? Because it's like she had these. Oh, the Audrey, books. Audrey, I get it. Okay. She was like had chunky ATCs a long time ago. Yeah, you're right. So that's the first time I really had seen them supposedly has ATCs. Right, right, right. But now here's the thing that I like about these. I mean, I love Audrey's, don't get me wrong, but what I like about these two is the fact that I like to nail into stuff. I know. And I these like are really, well. really easy to nail into. So here they are down here. They are two and a half by three and a half. We already have them painted for everybody. All you have to do is distress them and collage them and nail onto them. What I like about these chunkies too, yeah, a lot of things, but I love the fact that you have six sides of which to oh, collage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I, what I did on the back of these, I just put the Edgar Allan Poe's on because I knew that I was going to glue them into the shadow box, so the back okay. wasn't that important. Although the Edgar Allan Poe's look good. Okay, so what else can we tell them about them? Well, we can tell them about, we used our collage sheets and started out and glued those down. Yeah, yeah. And I like the fact that we made the charms with the magic gloss. Okay, there's Edgar Allan Poe. See how good he looks? Yeah. I like that. And then also, this is more charms with the magic gloss. And what you do to make those charms is you simply glue the image in. Yeah, with the Yoohoo glue stick. And then just top it off with magic gloss. Yeah. Put it in the sun. Yeah, no machines. Half I like an hour that. later, they're, they're cured. I mean, you can do a machine. I don't know. I'm I do the machine in the winter. I know. I'm not a machine person. Okay, so here's the shadow box tag that I made, which is cute. I like it. This is the one Chris made, which is even cuter. Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. Okay, right I got to move this. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, but... Is now, that Darla? Yeah, but move over. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't move the lamp off the table. Yeah, but... Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here's Darla that we can't see anymore because Chris repositioned everything. And what else can we show them, Chris? You can show them the... Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. What about the rosettes? Paper rosettes. The paper rosettes. Here are the Halloween paper rosettes. They are really fun. And Chris said they're easy to make. I should do a little tutorial on making those sometime. Oh, hey, how about let's talk for just a minute about the uh, enchanted crows, the enchanted ravens. What I think is fun about the Chanted Ravens is the way the mica yeah. is crunched. Oh, yeah. And then it makes the mica look like it's actually they're flying. Yeah. What's uh -oh. happening back there? Uh-oh. Okay, now here are some Halloween cards that we made. This has Billy and what's her name? Gracie. Billy and Gracie. And this is the raven with the skulls. This is Sister Love, right? They're cute, yeah. Yeah, she's really cute. Okay, well, hey, why don't we tell everybody about the Chunky with the mica? Okay, so that's the Chunky with the mica, and the lighting is, hmm. Oh, yeah, there, there's Edgar on the back pretty. of that one. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Okay, turn it around the other way, though. Slow motion. Yeah, slow motion. Okay, so hold it right there, right there. Okay, so here's what's cool about this. I collage the Edgar Allan Poe on the front. And then I sanded the mica to give it kind of a milky, smoky, foggy look. And stamped it with our um, Midnight Dreary ATC stamp with um, stays on with stays on black. And then here's the cool part. Right there. Yeah. Here's the cool part. I just nailed that on with those little black sharp tacks that I really like to use those. They're fun. This is cool too, though, to make them the Oh, hanger. yeah. I forgot about that part. So then for the hanger, what you do is you just um, put some screw eyes in there. And, you know, put, put your, your wire, wire on. Put your wire and kind of loop it around a little bit. And, yeah, I think those are fun. These are the ones that I love. Actually, I can't believe I'm saying this the say most. It, say it. Because you don't like Edgar Allan Poe. Well, you because not. they're they're not as fun as these over here. These over here. For some like, reason, you mean, I love these. You mean like these over here? Yeah. Those are more colorful. Okay. But this is just cool. Okay, cool. And right. here's another one up here. Okay, so we're going to do that one, too? Sure. Okay. 
Oh, this has our stamps, which I think that's a darling yeah. stamp. I like that stamp a lot. Fun story. What is it? Fun story. Oh, Halloween fun story. That's exactly right. And it says, what does it say? I can't see that. Halloween greetings? Yep. Okay, and that has the uh, back is distressed and stamped. Isn't that our stamp on the back of there? Yeah. Yeah, that's our stamp. Okay. Is that blue? No. What color is that? It's black. What's the matter with you? I can't see. Yeah. It's got a lot of glitter on it, too. Okay, so turn it, turn it, turn it over. It sure looks blue to me. Okay, so anyway, so this was really an easy one to make. All you do to this one is you stamp. Sorry. <laughs> you stamp the, um, oh boy. Fun story. You stamp the fun story, and first of all, what you want to do is you want to sand the mica so this is milky. Well, actually, the very first thing you want to do is sand the um, chunky to distress it a little bit. And then what you want to do is you want to sand the mica and stamp it and then hammer it on and then hammer on the uh, skull. That's it. You really, you don't hammer on the skull. You don't? I think what you do is you take and you have a baby bread. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. I and you put that through the little I made eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I glued that in there. I think what I did was... I don't know. I made so many of those in one day. I don't yeah. know what I did here. I just made don't know. me look like I didn't do nothing that day. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you did. Okay, okay. So, what else we got here? We have somebody in the store wondering what we're doing. Yeah. Is this like an advertising thing? Or no. No. Oh, this is this is no just advertising a thing. Photos. Video. No, it's just a little or is this video. The web letter. How you photograph? Okay. Yeah. She's yeah. They, you know. Well, speaking of. Would you the like e to be in news, it? I'm on the list, but I need. I saw something to do. It was like um, a stamp story kind of thing, but it showed a mannequin maybe or a dress form and sewing. I can see. Yeah, we have that. Okay. Well, hey guys, we got to go. So one last look. Here they are, and um, we'll do it again. 